vlog. It's been forever since I've made a video. So uh, we're on our last week of school <laughs> and I'm headed out right now. We have to be there at 7.30 this year because students eat in our classrooms. They can have hot breakfast in the cafeteria or they can come to our classrooms and we have like a breakfast cart in the hallway that has cold cereal, milk that's on ice, um, spoons and different juices. And so they come in our classrooms if they want to eat cold breakfast in there. As soon as they're done with hot breakfast, they come to our classrooms too. I have my students do brain bins and I can show those to you later. It's the same ones I had last year, plus I added some. And I found a special spray at Menards at the beginning of the school year that kills the coronavirus and you don't have to wipe it off. So it's perfect for like Legos, you know, things with crevices that you can't really clean. It's also great for math manipulatives and things. So the kids know that after they have played with a the bin, they set it on the carpet of my classroom library on the little rug, and then I spray everything down, let it dry, and then I put the bins back. I'm back. Sorry, there's a lot of traffic and I didn't want to keep talking. So I'm still on my way to school. I'm getting closer now. <laughs> I drive about 25 minutes to get there. Um, I have to go around the other way because of lots of construction going on. I'm sure you probably have lots of construction in your areas too. Anyway, today's second grade finale where we celebrate the kids last year in second grade and celebrate all their hard work. So the whole grade level has a very fun day all day today. So we have yearbook signing, bounce house, basketball, dance party. They still have special class recess and regular lunch. And then in the afternoon, every student got to choose a movie room to go to. So there were seven different choices. They got to rank them in order of first, second, and third choice. And we put them, tried to put their first choice if possible. All of my kids got their first choice so far. So <clears throat> unless we have to move some people around because of too many people in one room, we might have to have two rooms with the same movie due to demand. But that should be super fun this afternoon. And then we'll also have pizza. So gonna be a really great day while they're watching the movie. I'm going to be working on report cards because they're due on Monday. Today is Wednesday and our last day with students is Friday and the teachers have like a half day work day from like 7.30, 8 o'clock until 1 on Monday and then we can check out. I won't have my classroom done because I'm going to do a luau on Friday. Aloha to second grade and I'll be sure to film that because last time I did one was when I had my last year in first grade. So any of you that have followed me for several years probably did see that vlog. It's still up on my channel. But um, yeah, I'm going to stay Thursday and decorate my room and I'm moving all the desks out which I'll probably do that today for the movie anyway for more space so they can lay around on the floor on bath mats and things but it should be a really good day and a good end of the week tomorrow's our sports day where we get to go to the high school football field and do some activities there and then we come back to our building eat outside parents can join us outside if they want to and then the rest of the day will be just fun activities in our classrooms so that'll be nice all right, I'm almost at school, so I'm gonna sign off for now. I'll try to pop in after school today. I do have to go to Walmart and get some things. I'm gonna get some surprises for my kids. I have some things to put together, and I'll be sure to share all of the goodies with you. I just really quickly wanted to show you my room. It's a hot mess right now because it's the end of the year, and things are very strange this year, as you can well see. But here, here is what everything looks like right now. So I did have the desks separated, like, two and a half feet apart, but they're okay now this way grouped up because these kids are together all the time. There's my library. The kids put their books back yesterday. That's a remnant from May the 4th. <laughs> I have reading group books ready to put back into my file cabinet right over there. There's my rug. We have birthday books we need to do. I have so much stuff behind my desk because I have things that I'm working on. So it's kind of a mess back there. My lovely plant and water bottles since we can't use the water fountains and a whole bunch of stuff stored back here because we can't use everything. So I have a lot of cleaning up to do before I'm checked out of my room, but I will have the paperwork portion done at least. So that's just an overview of my room right now. Good morning and happy Thursday. So we're supposed to have sports day outside the high school football field and it is currently raining. So it's not looking very promising. There is a contingency plan to have it inside like in some of the like the wrestling room, the gym, things like that, but bummer. These poor kids missed out on sports day last year because of the shutdown in March. So we'll see what the day brings. It is the last day of school. It is Friday, May 21st, and I'm having my 
aloha to second grade luau so i will be sure to film the classroom um when i get there because it's set up at least it was when i left <laughs> i stayed till 7 30 about last night inflating things setting things up you know all the things and so this morning it should be all set up for the kids i'm going to have them do their memory books and wrap up some other things this morning before we go to special class at nine and then when we come back from that we will have pineapple floats as our treat and then start our stations and i'll explain all the stations probably later after school so i will see you at school hello welcome to my classroom I'm gonna just take you around real quickly and show you the stations and then the kids will be coming in just a few minutes and I need to get to work. All right, here I'm gonna have my iPad and it'll be on YouTube and they're going to learn how to hula. Then we'll move over here to Tic Tac Pineapple. <laughs> this is our Tiki snack bar. I'm going to make pineapple floats. Then here's all of our memory book stuff. This is a ring toss dolphin. Buckets of fun. They get to throw little balls into the buckets. Then this is a math game. And I have little pineapple erasers and stuff. They'll shake the dice and they will add them up and cover up the total. There's my board. This is deep sea fishing, gone fishing. Over here is Let's Flamingo. It's another ring toss. Finally leads us to Pineapple Harvest Bowling. Ha! All right, it's time to go. See you later. Whew, it is the end of the day on the last day of school. The last bus has just rolled out. They were honking and waving, screaming, whooping. Whew, I'm so tired. It was a good tired though. The kids really enjoyed the luau. They enjoyed all the activities. Um, there were nine stations that I showed you and they all got to rotate through every one of them. And then we had lunch. We had a little bit of time to do one more cursive page. I found this really cute cursive book and there's one for each season and it's jokes and it's the corny jokes that these kids love. And so they have to write the joke in cursive and write the answer to the joke in cursive. And so that was really fun. Of course, I sent those home and then I got a summer version of it too and I put them in their things too. And I forgot to show you the memory boxes that we made. So it's made out of a pizza box and it's slices of my year. And I'll have to find out who has the resource for that and I could link it for you. But I did it last year and the kids didn't get to do it because COVID. But the year before we did it together. So we did it again this year and the kids really liked it. I put all of the things that they had done through the year that I had displayed in the hallway. I just saved all of that stuff. I did not send very much of anything home with them through the year because I was collecting it for their memory box. So they got to take all that home today, plus their desk pets, which you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Although if you're in any kind of Facebook groups for teachers or talk to other teachers or get on Instagram about teachers, you've probably seen them. And I, I can show you some things in my classroom another day because I still have all the supplies in my room, I must say. It's a hot mess. <laughs> and I just really don't care right now because I'm too tired. But Monday is the teacher work day and that's our last day for teachers. And we can check out by one, but I'm sure I'll just stay and work on my room. I still haven't cleaned my closet for those of you that have been following me for a while. Yeah, my closet is still a mess. It's actually, I didn't really even look at it this year. It's still a mess from last year. So hmm. that is definitely a project I have to get done. I just have to, so this is the summer to do it for sure. We don't have a lot of kids in our summer school program in our building this year because they're splitting it out to different buildings more. So there will be as many kids in our buildings. So I don't think that we'll have kids in our second grade rooms this year, which will be helpful. So I could just pop in whenever through the summer and work on it. Um, I made pineapple floats for our treat today. I found some soda. I think it was Big K. It's like a three liter. So I got a couple of those. I have plenty. I'm taking some home. And I just made ice cream floats out of them. And most of the kids liked it pretty well. Some of them were like, eh, I don't really think I like the pineapple. I'm like, that's okay. You can dump it in the sink. So most of them, I would say, really liked it. I gave them cute little pineapple straws. I had some students that were very, 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 very sad at the end of the day. And they cried pretty hard. And it was really hard. And I cried too. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. There are only so many tears a person can take before they just succumb to them as well. And I was sad. I try not to think about it too much though because they go to another building so we really don't see them much anymore 
unless you're going to ball games and stuff like that, which I don't really go to because I don't have any kids in school and I don't live here. So I don't really run into these kids unless I see them at the super center, the Walmart here. But um, one of my students in particular was like beyond sad. And um, I sent her to a room for dismissal because she uh, stays for a little bit before late buses. And she was just crying, crying, crying. And she came out and gave me more hugs. I'm going to miss you so much. I'm like, I miss you too. But I told all the kids, see, they're all on Remind. Their parents are. I said, your parents can still message me on Remind. So if it's okay with them, you can message me on there and I'll respond. You can talk to me that way. They're like, okay. I'm like, oh so hard so hard because you become a family you know and ups and downs and ins and outs and everything you're almost together an entire year of their lives that's a big chunk when you're eight that's a big chunk of your life so yeah we become very close yep <sighs> but they will be okay they'll be okay they'll have fun in the summer they'll do all kinds of fun things and it'll be good but like today was hard <laughs> it was really hard I didn't really clean my room up. I put some stuff up so that the custodian wouldn't have to move things to clean. I picked up my, bleh, I picked up the pool off the rug because it was a mess, and I picked up the like the little bowling thing that I made, and I picked up the tic tac toe thing that was on the floor. I just moved stuff off the floor so they could clean, and I put the trash cans together so they could find them easier. And my desk is a mess. I usually leave my desk pretty nice, but no, it's a mess because I'm going to be here Monday, so it's fine. I'm going to work on report cards this weekend. I have everything else collected, I think, that I need. I need to make my purchase order. <laughs> That's always nerve-wracking. I'm always super paranoid that I'm going to forget something or, you know, whatever, not need something that I ordered and going to feel bad that I wasted money. Or, <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of pressure I put on myself because I want to use the money as wisely as I can and get as much bang for my buck as possible because the school district, you know, and taxpayers are parents. The parents are paying for it, basically. So... I want to use that money wisely. So I really, really agonize over everything I put on that purchase order. I really do. It takes me a while to get it figured out exactly what I want. But um, yeah, that's going to be something I do this weekend too. It's super fun. It's going to be rainy and gross. So it'll be good to stay home and do that. Well, it is like 3.50. I'm going to zing a zing out of here and go home, relax, feed my kitties and uh, enjoy pizza and movie night with my husband. So I will catch you again when I'm back in my room.